Hospice de Beaune uh, is, is part of the culture of Burgundy. Uh, in the past, you must understand that uh, the vineyard of Burgundy used to belong to the very wealthy family, the, the noble family, or to the church. And uh, of course, six, seven hundred years ago, when the people were uh, nearly going to die, they were uh, very anxious because they were saying to themselves, Jesus, I've done so many bad things in my life that I'm going to go to hell. Before dying, let's do something good uh, so that God is going to be very nice with me. Boom, let's offer something. And it was a tradition here in Bonn that the rich family would offer to this hospital, the Hospice de Bonn, a piece of land, a piece of vineyard, a house or something like that. And this hospital that was started in the 14th century uh, by uh, the Duke of Burgundy uh, and by his Chancellor. The Chancellor was the, the finance minister of the Duke of Burgundy, Nicolas Rollin, uh, became very, very wealthy because they, he, he, this hospital had a lot of properties. Uh, in the 19th century, uh, it was decided that this hospital would put at auction all the wine coming from his domain the third weekend of November. So it's a tradition since one, a little more than 150 years that every third Sunday of November the Hospice de Beaune sell at auction all their wines uh, to the, uh, the, the negotiant company that will buy the wine in cask age them and bottle them under the Hospice de Beaune name. So that's a, a wonderful tradition because not only uh, it's an opportunity for people from all around the world to come to Burgundy, taste the new vintage, have a feeling for the new vintage, but also uh, to do uh, something full of generosity for the poor people of Burgundy. Uh, that was the idea of this charity when it started uh, a little more than 500 years ago. Uh, so we uh, are all of us Burgundian behind this, uh, this charity because it's, it's so important.